website marketing professionals. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you very much for uh, clicking on through to this video here. If you're on YouTube or you're on my post or whatever on my website, great. Thank you very much for being here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't uh, seen this, you can go to davidjboozer.com. Look around there. You guys can get a lot of free information. As a matter of fact, if you're on YouTube right now, you can click on the link down there. Or if you're on my website, you can fill out your information and start grabbing some, uh, literally, some very practical uh, internet marketing training video series, a very practical series that teaches you guys some of the fundamentals of being here and what it really takes to find success online. Um, at least understanding what you should be asking from your website marketing professionals. So let's get on with this little <laughs> overview. Uh, guys, my name is David Boozer. I am a highly successful online marketing or website marketing professional. Uh, no, I'm just a dad. I've, I've been working online for quite some time. I love it. Uh, I do consulting for some large companies. I work with uh, hundreds of small businesses and literally have helped thousands of individuals find success online. Whether it was network marketing, affiliate marketing, a local business, doesn't matter. Just here to help them uh, build and brand and manage your businesses online. Now, what wet my lips there. You know, I think one of the, the reasons that we all go out and we look for uh, uh, website marketing professionals as business owners is because it, we feel like it's, you know, and it, and it does, it takes off some of that burden of our marketing online and we know that we have to be online today. Whether it's mobile, whether it's uh, a tablet somebody's on or their home PC, we need to be online. As local businesses, as global businesses, as opportunities, affiliate marketers, network marketers, it doesn't matter. We have to be online. We have to have a good, solid presence online. If we really start looking at how Google looks at things, and why do we say Google? Why do I talk about Google so much in all of my stuff? Well, you have to understand, guys, that it's about 70 plus percent of all search online done is through Google. And the other thing that we have to understand, especially for you local businesses out there, is that Google takes up about 73% of all local search traffic. So whenever you see all those crazy programs out there about like, you know, mobile madness and all that craziness, guys, when you're on your own smartphone or tablet or whatever, when you're searching for something locally, what do you use? <laughs> Google, Yahoo, Bing, you're still using a search engine. So the thing is, is, you still have to optimize for search engines and people at the same time. Now let's talk about optimizing for people and search engines. The best thing that you could possibly ever do um, and understand this. And the reason I'm telling you guys all this first is because I want you to be able to ask the questions. Ask the questions before you outsource to any sort of professional online. Um, you know, why do we optimize for people first and search engines second? Because that's the way the algorithms and the, and the search engines are starting to look at things. They're starting to look at things through more human eyes. They're not looking for, wow, bam, buy my tires now. What they're looking for is what kind of tires do you have? How well do they work? Do other people like these? Yeah, local reviews and citations done on places like Yelp, Local, Merchant Circle, um, Facebook from other people talking about your business. People tagging your stuff in Facebook and, and getting on your website or your blog and leaving comments saying, gosh, I really like this. Thank you guys so much for the service or the, the product or whatever it is. Guys need to understand all of this, that we need to, the content, no matter if you outsource it or do it yourself, needs to be optimized for people first, search engine second. But we do need to understand this. Some of the basic questions that you need to ask in your website marketing professional or professionals uh, is basically, first off and foremost, uh, what platforms do they use? What platforms do they use? That's very important because we only have a few platforms online that really, really, um, really work. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I ask you what the largest social media platform on the face of the internet is, you're going to tell me Facebook, and I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Actually, what you need to understand with the platforms is that blogs are the most popular. Next would be videos, so things like YouTube. And then there would be social media platforms like Facebook. As a matter of fact, guys, social media, uh, last year it was like 7 to 10% of search engine results uh, for uh, particular pieces of content online. Um, that's about all Google looked at. It was about 7 to 10%. Today it's about 14 to 17% of that oomph from social media metrics based uh, uh, to help you get you know indexed online. So it's starting to become more and more... Uh, uh, 
irrelevant for the search engines as far as social media connections are concerned. But that would include blogs and videos, guys, not just Facebook. So the thing is, is how are these guys marketing? What platforms are they using? Blogs, videos, social media. Your blog, basically you can set a blog up as a website as well. It has static pages. It has a, a simple landing page right up front about your business. But then inside of that WordPress blog or Joomla or Drupal is more content, more information about your business. And this is what the search engines are looking for. What other platforms, guys? What other platforms are they going to be using? That's right. What about uh, things like uh, 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 Google Places page? What about a Google Plus page? What about Facebook? Facebook business page. You know, you guys don't have to get 25 likes to have a unique URL with facebook.com forward slash tires, uh, Eugene Tire Center or whatever. You just need to have this, the, the page set up. What about social interaction, things like uh, local citations and, and reviews of your businesses and opportunities? Places like Yelp. Places like Angie's List. Places like local.com. These things, guys, need to be included in all of this. This has to be on there. And the thing is, is what other platforms should this be? Should uh, these guys use? How do you know the traffic you're getting? How do you know how how well you're converting this traffic? Are they going to give you a breakdown? That's why you need to get in there and have some good Google Analytics set up. This way you can see what's happening with your traffic, if you're getting any traffic, if you're ranked anywhere, if you're doing what you need to do. My facts just popped on. Weird, spooky. <laughs> but that's the thing, guys. You need to understand everything as, as much as you possibly can, as much as you have time to understand. Um, kind of lost my train of thought when that, uh, uh, yeah, fax machine. Yeah, so you're headed on you. No, I've done very well online, guys, because I got out there, asked the questions and everything else, and learned how to market myself. You know what? Let's go on with this real quick. Now that you guys are kind of starting to understand what you really need to know about online marketing, you guys have to know your basic SEO, search engine optimization. You have to understand ranking factors so you can be able to ask them, what kind of keywords am I going to be found under? What kind do you want to be found under? You know, uh, multiple different types of searches, not just Eugene tires, but also uh, low cost uh, 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 snow tires uh, in Eugene. People look up things in different manners, and you want to make sure that you're there. Let me turn my phone off real quick. So, you need to understand this, guys. You have to understand that. Do you know that the average website marketing professionals probably spend anywhere from two to four hours on your website? every single month? <laughs> How's that for ridiculous? Yeah, you know, I can actually spend about two to three hours a week and get a lot more play out of my own stuff. Do you know how long it should take you to actually create a piece of content that's socially bookmarked, that gets out there and gets ranked? It only should take you an hour to an hour and a half to actually create that piece of content. And actually get it out there and share it within your social media site, socially bookmarking it. And this would include a good post in your website or a good article in your website. It would include a video. It would include some really cool images of your products and services, your business, your locale, whatever it is that you want to put on there. It consists of all this. And then it consists of that social interaction to that particular piece of content that you put out. If you can sit there and have an hour uh, to sit there, hour, hour and a half to put a, together a piece of content, how many pieces of content do you think you could do yourself for your business every single, uh, every single week? You got two hours, you got three hours, you got four hours a week, and you sit there and just create a piece of content? Yeah. It takes me about an hour to put this content together. It takes me longer to put the video together. <laughs> no, it takes me about an hour, hour and a half to have this piece of content done out and probably indexed and ranked within... Um, 48 hours. Yeah. It's not that difficult, guys. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of website marketing professionals today, and the one thing that they actually do and what they actually are are basically Walmarts. <laughs> They're just a bunch of middlemen. 
They're just middlemen. They're like, all right, yeah, we've got your service. We do this, 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 and this, and this. They don't do any of that. No, as a matter of fact, they take that business and they outsource it themselves. And they give that company all the rundown of what you want to do and what you want to accomplish and tell you what they can do for you. So all of a sudden, you're spending what? What's the average? I've seen people spending as much as five to ten thousand dollars in a single month, plus another five hundred to you know a thousand dollars or more plus a month on their online marketing needs. Now, half of the time, or a little over half of the time, it actually worked very well for them. The other half of the time, people come to me going, dude, I tried this. I couldn't find myself even on the 50th page. This was insane. And I've been sitting around for six months paying these guys. It's unbelievable. Do you know how much it should cost you to actually run your online business every single month yourself? Have you just spent two hours, three hours a week creating your own content? Less than... Less than fifty dollars a month. I am not kidding. As a matter of fact, I've seen people do very well online, just getting in here and learning how to market online, who pay less than thirty dollars a month. There are many good website marketing pro professionals out there, pros out there. I think there there's some good programs, good companies, good services. Matter of fact, there's some great companies and great programs and great services out there. There's also good, solid online marketing training programs and everything else. Whether you decide to learn this on your own or you go out and you outsource, it doesn't really matter. That's not the issue. The issue is, is that if you're going to market yourself, you understand how to market. If you're going to outsource, that you understand what you need to ask and what you need to expect from that company, individual, or service. Period. That's what matters. Don't throw your money away. Marketing online is too simple and it drives very good traffic and you have to be here. But you don't have to be ripping yourself off every single day and every single month. Learn what you need to learn. Learn what you need to learn and just apply it. That's the whole secret to driving traffic to any business online here. It's not the softwares that we buy or the guru products or all the craziness. You're just understanding how we want to get found by creating good, solid content out here. Content that answers the question that people have within the search engines and just getting in front of that traffic. The traffic is already here. The traffic is already here. So get in front of it or make sure that you ask the right questions on how they, the Website marketing professionals, the SEO professionals, are going to get you in front of that traffic, period. Anyways, thank you guys very much. I'm going to go give this call back. No matter what, God bless.